Hey guys, how you doing? I'm posting a new video. Basic, well, it's not a complete new video. It's a video I've already uploaded in Spanish, but uh, I've been lacking in English videos, so I will be catching up with the last time I uploaded a video in English for all the creative people out there who don't speak or understand fluently Spanish. I'm really sorry. I have left you behind but that will change very very soon so um, this is the English version of a video I already uploaded a few weeks ago and in this video I'll be showing you uh, a time lapse of how I sketch backpacks so I'll be giving you some hints commenting the way I sketch the backpacks the way I use the tools in the Procreate app and a few tips what you can do, what you maybe shouldn't do or um, things that you could change. I hope this video helps you out and well let's get started. So for me there's no secret recipe for this. Um, I'll be using the Procreate app for iPad for this sketch uh, and what I mean with no secret recipe is you just doodle around. Uh, basically you just start with a few shapes. Um, I like to start with the base or the floor of the backpack and then uh, work my way up to the shape. What kind of backpack will it be? Uh, depends on the ideas I've got in mind. Maybe you don't have any specific idea and you just start sketching and that's the most important thing. Just start scribbling, doodling and the shape will come out. Um, and there is no real um, goal while I was sketching this. I, I just wanted to um, sketch backpacks and bags from different perspectives. And this is actually quite uh, relaxing because uh, you don't have to focus that much if there's any symmetry or if there, the sketch is perfect. What I mean by that, like geometric uh, objects uh, buildings they have to be for example if you sketch a house it has to be perfect at, or near to perfect the lines have to be very clean very straight and when you're sketching a backpack of course you can do uh, that type of sketching you can do a, a perfect uh, line work and uh, have a, a great sketch no doubt about that but you can also do a little bit more freehand freestyle sketching and it's very very fun and relaxing so um, you just have to visualize what you're sketching and if you have a feel which is unknown to you for example if, if you haven't sketched backpack, backpacks or bags before just uh, browse through the internet or go to a store and observe the object maybe take some pictures uh, from different perspectives and um, learn from it um, visualizing the objects and sketching them is a very very useful and great way to start um, in the industrial design sketching area. Not just industrial design sketching area, of course, if you're an artist and uh, you're <laughs> starting to paint, it's uh, basically the same thing. So this applies to everything. So um, very important in this sketch is the layers. As you've seen, um, I've done all my, my sketches with a, a, a pencil tool and I've started to render. So I did for the first brown colored layer I want to uh, to sketch uh, the brown part is supposed to be leather so I did in the first in, in the second layer after the, the line work with the pencil uh, I did an, a new layer for the brown color then a second layer for a, a, a brush which should simulate the texture of leather and then an, um, on a third layer with the white brush I did the highlights and the same procedure applies for the felt uh, the felt uh, the gray section of the backpack is supposed to be gray wool felt so the first uh, it's always a new layer for every step always a new layer you have to see uh, which layer goes on top of what depending of, of the effect that you want to to approach so for the felt I did a, a plain gray then I did a darker version with a low density for the shadows on the side of the backpack 
and with a white pencil I scribbled over the gray uh, section so you can get that felt visualization or the felt texture and uh, this applies to all the sketches so for the next backpack or the bag the brown bag right now I used also a new layer so it's a new layer and in the procreate app uh, you've got a canvas which allows you to use 44 layers and that's great of course there will be times you need more than 44 layers so once you're happy with the results and you need more layers you can merge layers down uh, so you you can add even more and more and more layers so um, I think the key about sketching uh, in general in digital or with digital tools like Photoshop sketchbook and procreate is that you you learn to use layers and that allows you to do many things which with uh, analog sketching or sketches per uh, via hand uh, hand <laughs> hand and um, and markers and pencil sketching on uh, with pen and paper is a bit difficult uh, you have a, a very very narrow margin of error sketching um, on paper than sketching digitally so it's very uh, how can you say it's uh, a lot of freedom you have uh, while sketching um, digitally and the Procreate app allows you to do many things that you could do also in Photoshop so if you are on the go and you have uh, an idea that you want to visualize and you have no um, Wacom tablet with you in a laptop uh, but you have an iPad and a stylus that's also enough um, to, to sketch so what else can I tell you about this um, I believe the difficult part for me was to, to get used to uh, sketching with a stylus. I use a pencil stylus from 53 and um, you can connect it with the Procreate app, but the palm rejection function does not work, at least not with me. Um, my canvas starts moving around when I put my palm on the screen, uh, which with the Concepts app, there is another application for great sketches, Concepts app, for example. Um, that works great or the paper app from 53 itself is also great for this um, but it's just uh, a matter of fact that you get used to it and now with the new iPad Pro and the pencil it's much much easier and uh, it's like sketching on paper so uh, what can I say to the sketch it's done this is the same procedure was applied to all the bags so a lot of layers so um, you get the effect right from from the highlights to the shadows um, if there's a specific texture you need of, of the material um, you add more layers why the layers if you add layers and you make a mistake you just have to go to the layer where you have to change your mistake and you don't affect the whole sketch that's why layers are very very practical Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out a little bit. If you have any questions, if you want to know something specific about uh, industrial design or industrial design sketching, let me know. Leave me a comment or send me a message uh, on my Facebook site under Wakamola Design or on Instagram. I hope you like it and I'm really sorry I haven't been posting any videos in English. I'll be changing that this week and the coming the following week as well I'll be posting the missing videos which are already in Spanish on my YouTube channel also in English if you have any questions if you have any petitions for me to sketch just let me know contact me and see you very soon take care